Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. We have Thorns, number 31. Weathering the challenge ahead will bring in a new and positive future. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn for the week? This will be January the 2nd to the 8th, 2023. So Happy New Year, Capricorn. These readings won't be for everyone. Take what resonates as always. So what do we have for our lovely Capricorn's overarching energy flipped over? We have the Queen of Cups. This can be a person, can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female. It's the energy of, of heart-centered energy. You know, the Queen of Cups, Queen of Hearts. Let's see what we have with that. We have the Knight of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. Five of Swords. The Ace of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles uh, and the Five of Wands. So let's clarify this Queen of Cups. What do we have with this Queen of Cups? Thank you. We have the Hierophant and the Five of Swords. Have faith that you're going to be victorious. Because this is just, this feels like, uh, I've got three fives in this reading as well, which can represent change here, Capricorn. Um, but you're going to be victorious. Yeah, we have the Six of Swords. The worst is going to be behind you and you move forward to better times. In in a relationship setting here, Capricorn, okay, the message is that love is offered. But it's from somebody who's messed you around. They've done something disrespectful. It might be the first time, but it caused conflict, tension, arguments, disagreements. Because you are fundamentally feeling lack and disrespected. And you're really thinking, how am I going to move forward with this? It looks like there's just there's just this conflict with this person. Could even be this week there is a big conflict that you're dealing with, because you're not happy with how they're treating you or or behaving, you know, towards you in some respects. They do what they want to do and completely disregard you. Don't give you a second thought. The Knight of Wands can sometimes be a player in tarot, so this is where you're thinking, what does a new beginning look like for you, and really taking stock and evaluating. Whether you're happy on your current path or whether, whether you want to change it. This person is saying, uh, I know there's been conflict. Uh, I'm offering, offering love. Uh, I know there's been conflict. Uh, but can we just put this behind us and heal from it and just have faith? Have faith in me. That's the energy that they're saying here. So you've got some kind of decision to make here. And the message would be really take stock and look at this. And it's not, the, the, the pentacles energy is your sign, it's your earth energy. It's not emotions, it's not intellect. It's all about the practical experience, the facts of the situation, uh, the value of the relationship. Is this person really your long-term future person or do you want to do something differently? The Ace of Wands is telling you that there is a there is a new beginning presented to you, but it's about taking stock and evaluating whether it's a current path that you're on or a brand new one. So 
This can also be, like I said, I mean, with the amount of pentacles in this reading and the one's energy, this could be a, a, a money career situation here, Capricorn. This can be about having faith that you're going to be victorious and soon the worst is going to be behind you. You can see that light piercing through the thorns energy. I will say here, Capricorn, that if this was you making some kind of choice or decision, these energies can sometimes signal, okay, let's agree to disagree and let's move on from it and heal from it and just have faith that it's not going to happen again and that, you're, that things are going to change. So that's what this kind of energy can be in terms of relationships. In terms of, of money career, this could be linked with having faith that a victory is going to be yours. Uh, hard won victory because it looks like you haven't this is about the ambition and the need and the desire to win at any cost because that's what the situation requires the hierophant can be about higher power you're being watched over here even leaning on your spiritual faith in times of challenge here can support you but it's about really this is all going to soon be behind you and you are going to be victorious and you'll move on from this to, you know, that you'll start moving in the right direction and put these difficulties behind you and things will be balanced out. So that's what I'm getting here, Capricorn. Again, the Knight of Wands can be very good in terms of offers and opportunities in money, career, finances. With the Five of Swords, somebody wondering if they've won, if they're going to be victorious. Because there's a sense here, if you, if we look at the cards, again, the, the Eight of Swords, I'm trapped, things are beyond my control, I don't know which way it's going to go. If you, I'm feel, I feel powerless. The Five of Pentacles, feeling like money-wise, this can be to do with, because we can feel, what, feel like energetically in a relationship, not being treated your worth, your value, not feeling good enough, not appreciated. This can also be, translate that the same energies in terms of money. Uh, this can be about job loss, it can be linked with changing working hours, changing contract, changing your money aspect. It could well be because everything's just got more expensive around the world as well. Um, as we all know, the kind of like worldwide economy just changes. This is about I don't have enough right now to sustain myself, need to ask for help from other people. So again, this can be an energy here with a five of wands of competing for a job because that's what the situation requires. But you don't know what the outcome is going to be. And again, this energy here with the, the seven of pentacles and the ace of wands it's a, it's a path that you've persevered on and a feeling of, am I, am I going to get this opportunity, this brand new opportunity that I've been competing for? This is very good in terms of new job, new business opportunity. It's an exciting new beginning. Would be very close to your heart and soul here. Is this going to open for me? That would be the energy here. It looks like spirit is telling you, have faith, you are going to be victorious. There's some energy here this week here, Capricorn, where you just have to have faith either in choosing to heal with a person or choose your path of healing or it's linked with financial recovery but that certainly feels like you just you for this week it's like you can start seeing that light come through those thorny that thorny situation but you haven't quite got to the end result yet things seems to be moving in the right direction but a feeling here of there may well be a little bit more to do that's what I'm getting here, but Spirit is telling you that this is coming your way. It just feels like good things come to those that wait with that kind of energy. There's perseverance. Persevere a little while longer. Okay. And the Queen of Cups for me as a reader is very good as HR too. I mean, it can be somebody who's supporting you emotionally, uh, but can also be very good as, as somebody like HR or people person in business, somebody who puts people front and center, very nice, kind, compassionate energy, always has time to listen to people, support people. They want people to enjoy their job. We have affirmation. I listen to myself and acknowledge my needs. I assert myself and retain my power. I am brave and gentle. I don't have to be afraid of others. I respect myself and am respected by others.
Bottom of the deck, I've got here and now. The future does not exist and the past is gone. I focus on the present moment. I have confidence in life again because here now there is no danger. Everything happens when my soul is ready. Okay, Capricorn, I'll pull you a final card, final message for Capricorn. Final message for Capricorn, please. We have precious time. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.